So I ordered the Batad 3 Pro on Thursday and it came in on Saturday. That, that's really fast. I've been uh, carrying the uh, S2R Batad 2 for over two years. I use it daily. And as of a few months ago, I've been carrying the Batad 3 as well. The Batad 3 I use as a headlamp and as a backup and for when I'm with somebody else that needs a light. The downside of the Baton 3 is that the, the battery doesn't last very long. So that's why I still have to carry the S2R Baton 2, even though this one is pretty powerful. Now, I use this as my main light, and it's got a really long battery. And now in comparison with the Baton 3, they're saying that this one's more powerful. I did, I did use it outside, and it does seem to be more powerful. Do I need the extra light? I'll take it. As long as it's not going to use my battery up quicker, it probably will. Is there a mode in between? I, I, I mean, I don't know. We have to use it. Yeah, I'm not a, a flashlight scientist, um, but we'll use it and test that out. But I just wanted to go over some things that uh, I seem to notice right away. So you can see that they got rid of the sharp edges here. They already did that on the smaller one, the Baton 3. So they already fixed it there. That's that's definitely an upgrade. The button is more comfortable and seems to need more pronounced click, even though it is a larger button. Um, so it's, I don't think it's so much that it's recessed. I mean, it is recessed, so that does help. I suppose this one that's really sticks out, but it does seem to need a much more pronounced click than this one, unless this one might be more broken in. I don't know. If any of you guys have two new ones, um, maybe let me know in the comment section. Uh, another thing I noticed is that this one doesn't have a lanyard hole. That could be a plus because this seems to be, you know, gets re really full of dirt and metal shavings and it's, you know, it's just a dirt track. Now, they avoided that by removing it here and they put a hole here on the, on the clip. Now, that could be... A downside if you really want to have a really secure hole that if with this one it could eventually pop off on this it'll never come off some people might want that for safety I don't know but if you really uh, want a secure hold this one doesn't have it anymore now comparing the two clips directly this one definitely sits nicer in the pocket it's slimmer you know what you need I don't know why you need su such a large clip and this one generally will pop off if you hook hook onto something before allowing this to bend. So since I'm carrying this in my pocket, if that were to happen, it just falls into my pocket and I usually notice anyway. So I, I've never actually lost it. And it usually avoids bending this clip. It did bend on me a couple times, but in like two to three years, I, I, that's not really, um, you know, a lot of times. Now on this one, it does seem to be beefier. So, and heavier um, I don't like the extra weight it's, it's probably not anything too noticeable this one's a little taller too and I don't know if you can see but this one sits a little bit higher so that one sit a little bit lower in your pocket that one sit a little bit higher I don't know why they needed I mean it's not a really a big deal but if you actually cared about that then just because it's bigger light doesn't really need need to do that you know they could have made it higher now, this one's gonna be less comfortable in your hand because it's larger. That one's slimmer. So I don't I don't like that about about this. It also it, it's really ugly in the pocket when it's, this one this one's a lot cleaner. I did have a problem with this one turning on when it's when it would bump into things in my pocket. I think that this one will probably avoid the majority of that. Maybe. Completely, I don't know, but probably this one I'll have less accidental turn ons than, than that one, you know. I usually, anyway, when I shut it off, I'll turn it back on on the lowest setting so that if it did go on, it won't really use my use up my battery. Now, something they say about this one is that it'll last a lot longer on the lowest mode. So I think that just all they did was make a lower mode. There's no actual technology, I, I don't think. Now, they do have some kind of, what do they have on here? 
I forgot what they call it, but some kind of sensor that will shut off or lower your, your light if it's a proximity sensor, sensor I think, yeah. Anyway, uh, anything else? This one's brighter. Okay, I, I don't know if I need it, but I'll take it. I don't know. We'll use up my battery quicker. Maybe. I guess we'll have to try it. Do I like this clunky clip? Is it more secure? Yeah. It's more secure. But I don't know. I guess we'll have to uh, wait and see. Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? You could probably make a Baton 3 Pro Pro and fix those those uh, couple of things. But overall, I know I'm hating on it, but <laughs> this is the best light on the market by far. You can't go wrong with either one of them, in my opinion. Yeah, that's it. Check out the stuff I make on my website, alphaleather.com. Shameless plug. Let me know what you think.